Well, Jalen Hurts played pretty well, didn't he? Uh, very fun performance. He was doing a lot uh, with his legs and with his arms. So let's talk about it all and even the mistakes made by Minnesota. Let's just jump into it. And we're going to start off with this play. It's going to be uh, an option play. And again, Teams do run this play differently. Some teams have it as a true option where the quarterback gets the choice whether they want to hand the ball off or not. Other teams have it as it's actually not a choice. They've decided ahead of time what they will be doing, but it's just set up like an option. It's really hard to tell unless you're in the huddle, but here's how the option play works where it's really going to be the edge rusher that is what Hurts pays attention to. If the edge rusher crashes in, then you let him crash in, you keep the ball, get around him, and get to the outside because now you don't have an edge rusher to worry about. If the edge rusher stays to the outside, well then great, you've taken away a blocker without having to actually, or you've taken away a defender, excuse me, without having to put a blocker on him. You can just hand the ball off instead. So either way, it should put you up a man, right? When this play begins, you see how the edge rusher is clearly crashing in. He's ready to take away a handoff. He's you know, playing this like it's Tom Brady handing the ball off. You got to be more prepared than that. Or is that the case? Hertz does, you know, keep it himself, but you see Minnesota is prepared for it. They have another contained guy there. They're actually in a decent spot now where they should be able to defend this play. So Hertz made the right read by keeping it himself, but Minnesota making a good play to not allow him to just be able to easily get a touchdown. But this is where the fascinating situation is going to come in. Watch Hertz just, this is Jalen Hurts doing Jalen Hurts things, I guess. I mean, he's able to power through and get into the end zone for a touchdown. And listen, people can say, all they want about, oh, Jalen Hurts, where would he be without his legs? His legs are a part of his game. I mean, it's not fair to say that because his legs are part of who he is and his legs matter a lot. And the reality is that's an above replacement level play. The average quarterback you sign off the street does not get a touchdown on this play and Jalen Hurts does. And that's why, you know, he still has a good amount of value, especially on a rookie contract for this Philadelphia Eagles team. Now, we can also talk about this play. I said we'd talk about some Minnesota mistakes. This is a brutal mistake right here. I mean, I don't know what the safety was thinking because this is as easy of a read as you get uh, in the NFL where it's a pretty simple concept. You have one receiver run deep. Another receiver is going to, uh, you know, kind of run over the middle. Typically, it's the, or not over the middle, but, uh, you know, uh, run to the outside there. You're also going to have, I don't have it on the screen, but you also have uh, another player who's going to kind of just run out to the flat. So basically, you're going to have three guys on that side of the field. The hope is that you only have two Minnesota players who can cover them. But typically, the way this works is if you're a safety, you just cover the deepest route. This is The, the safety has the easiest job here. You cover the deepest route. The corner typically is going to cover the out route, and then uh, hopefully a linebacker gets over to cover the flat route. That's how you want to ideally defend this. However, when this play begins, Jalen Hurts is going to look in that direction, and I just don't know what the safety is doing here. To me, this feels obvious that, you know, right here, you should easily be able to tell you need to defend the go route, and I don't know why he screws this up. Uh, it's it's a baffling to me. Because of that, you're going to see just a wide open receiver, but give credit to Hertz for reading that immediately. I mean, Hertz was throwing the ball as it was getting open. I mean, Hertz read this immediately, uh, very quick compared to what you I think you would expect a quarterback to read it. So, Yes, he was looking in that direction, but hey, the second he saw it open up, he made a throw and made an accurate throw as well, because sometimes guys get too excited when they see someone wide open and miss the throw, not Hurts. He you know, put it exactly where he should have, so you definitely do have to give Hurts credit, but obviously the big story on that play, I mean, it was, it was, a, it was a bad play by the Vikings defense. I don't think anyone will argue the contrary. Back to Hurts' running game for a second. This was just a, you know, highlight reel level play. It's going to be a 26-yard touchdown run where Hertz is going to, again, keep the ball himself. He fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, runs over to the to his right where hopefully he can, you know, have some room. And as you see, he's not just going to have some room. He has a ton of room right here, plenty of room to operate. So, uh, you know, as of right now, looking very good. You're hoping he can get a decent amount of yards. I think there's some quarterbacks that kind of go down here or just a little bit further up. They say, you know, I'll run out of bounds. Glad I got the touchdown. And there's, or not touchdown, glad I got the first down. And listen, there's plenty of logic to that, you know, mindset of just get the first down, don't hurt yourself. But that's just not who Jalen Hurts is. You know, he's going to, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say that he's like Cam Newton out there just consistently running over guys, but he is going to at times take a hit if he feels like it can help them in the football game. And as you see, he does cut back to the inside and he is going to uh, eventually get through three guys and get into the end zone for a touchdown. So 
an incredible play, an incredible physical play. And again, these are the things that Jalen Hurts brings to your football team. These are the, you know, the, this is the value that he has. This is why they moved off of Carson Wentz and went on to Jalen Hurts because, you know, he does several things well, but this is probably his best attribute, in my opinion, is the fact that even when, you know, you're ch- covering the Eagles well and all that stuff, there's still always this factor, which can just make it even more tough to stop if you're a defense against them. Now, one other thing, talking about more of the the Vikings defense a little bit, do we have to? Yes, we have to. Uh, There were some, you know, this play was uh, a play. This play was a good example of kind of what we saw of defense playing a little soft. I especially thought that that final drive where they gave up three points felt like they could have not given up three points here. And, you know, they get a stop right here. They're looking to be in good position and probably, you know, maybe a Hail Mary attempt, whatever. There still is a chance right here. Only 15 seconds left for the Eagles. But uh, the Vikings are playing cover two zone. And it just felt like there were pretty big gaps in this zone coverage. Watch Jalen Hurts take the snap and you're going to see just a wide open window where Hurts can make that throw. So, Vikings got to clean that that up. But again, you do have to give some credit to the guys getting wide open there as well, right? You got to give credit to the Eagles uh, receivers. Now they were able to consistently get open and you have to give credit to Jalen Hurts for reading the play well and consistently finding the open guys. So, you know, it's all true. It's all fair. Unfortunately, the box score stats are going to look a little bit worse because of this play where, you know, about seven and a half minutes left in the game. They're really just trying to run out the clock right now, not you know, great opportunity for Hertz to continue to rack up the statistics. But as you see here, this is just a screen pass gone wrong, really not through Hertz's fault. He did everything fine on that play. It's just, you know, kind of a bad bounce. It happens. Sucks that it's going to go against his statistics because, you know, people at the end of the year will bring up, oh, these these many interceptions, despite it being, you know, kind of a, you know, it's a stat, but there's definitely not much of luck to it. But I suppose you could say that about football in general. Uh, you know, every stat has an, an element of, you know, team performance around and luck to it as a whole though I just thought that uh you know Hertz played really well Hertz showed exactly what Hertz can do and if Hertz continues to play this well this Eagles team isn't just a playoff contender they're a Super Bowl contender they have a ton of talent around them and I think that they're a legit threat with Hertz just playing solid but if Hertz is going to play great like he did tonight the rest of the league better look out at least that's what I think what do you guys think what were your thoughts on Jalen Hurts and his performance how do you feel about him and the Eagles as a whole let me know in the comments below always love hearing from you and of course as always thanks for watching